All right, welcome back. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo here in Boca Raton. We're in the final phases with June's case. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, dry out the um, uh, the implant um, access holes. Now are all waiting for us. I just wanted to mention a couple of things before we place the necessary block out material, which is a Teflon material. Um, when you're tightening your cases, um, I usually just hand tighten as much as I can, bottom it out, floss, 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 and we use glide floss. And um, glide is, uh, let me just show you how thin a piece we have. Um, it's, it, you know, it's got that, m that nylon material, you know, so it's not going to really shred. If it does, it'll break. So what I do is I just under hand tightening on both, and I wait five minutes for the tissue to displace because you can get a false reading from your driver and your threads. So you want to make sure of that. So I walk away for five minutes, I come back, and then I hand tighten the rest of the way. So we're bottom now, and then you want that little bit of snap to come through, like so. And some more here. That's a nice snap. All right, so if you've got that, and I even check natural tooth. Okay. Then you go ahead and tighten the one down. And then um, after you've tightened the one implant down, you, then you start tightening the other. But halfway through, let's just say you go to, uh, you know, 35 Newton centimeter and it's getting tight and you're still worried maybe I'm putting pressure on the threads, etc. Uh, you know, trust your, your brain. You need to go back in with the floss again. Okay. And then retighten one more time to 35 and you're done. Now you know you haven't put excessive stress, other than vertical stress, on the screw threads. Because you really don't want to be forcing a contact and having a real issue. Laboratories need to do that too. Hand tighten all the way down. Don't make it a loose screw and be afraid that you're tightening the model too much. You need to do that. Not to use a wrench, but your hand tightening is, is plenty. Okay, just wanted to make that point. Now Jen, my assistant, is waiting for me to get going doc let's go finish the case so here we go we're going to apply our teflon tape is next and here's the first batch going in um, i like to put in and for you uh, non-dentist out there this is a, a method of placing uh, a fail safe in the case just make sure if we ever had to take these off for any reason we could do that without uh without any effort so it's no no big deal and these are on they will hopefully will never c you know come off on on their own uh, or if they ever do come loose because the screws loose you know, we got access to it it's easy if you fill that hole up with just composite without doing this some like to put in wax I don't like paraffin in there anymore I just think if it gets in a thread it's hard to get out you have to steam them not every office has a steamer they could have to boil out the wax so Teflon tape works works great, and it's very com condensable. If you guys who are, are uh, dentists out there are still using like um, you know condensable composite, this is pretty close to that. And uh, Jen, I'm going to put a little bit more in there on this one molar. And uh, thank you, got it. Uh, just, see how nice and tuckable. Just seems like uh, we're tucking in a, a shirt sleeve or you know shirt tail. Off it goes. Now we like to go ahead and dry the teeth. Now we're ready to put in our adhesive. I use Albon 3. I like Albon 3. I, you know, I'm going to need a little bit more Teflon for this m this number four here, Jen. We're going to use uh, uh, Paracor. Excuse me, Paracor. I just was corrected, but Jen was uh, telling me we use Paracor from the whale dent company I believe it's still whale dent we like to use the combination of the white block out or white uh, opaque build up core material it's injectable and then we inject right on top of that with the dent and shade and we get a color that's pretty acceptable now these are on upper teeth no one's gonna know that they're there except you the viewers so this is uh, you know for the non dentist out there the patients uh, uh, these are upper teeth and ceramics when she smiles this is all you're going to see here and the lingual to the tongue um, so we're good the shade on her is around a C 
two, I believe. Um, I think that's where we, we ended. So I'm just condensing here, getting everything ready. Um, I like the injectables because they come with a small, super small tip. And they go in nice and easy. Once we uh, we finish with that, we light cure. It is a dual cure system because I don't know. Sometimes uh, three, four millimeters down there if we're really getting it all cured. So it has its own curing, uh, dual cure own uh, accelerator to a base accelerator. So I got a lower light um, because we're now we're working. This microscope from Leica Corporation has very good qualities to it and allows you to work with a very dim light and our materials do not set up. It's like a dimmer switch. And we go down to less than one watt of power on that light bulb. So Thomas Edison was right, you know. You don't need, you don't need a lot of light to see. Um, but for the viewers out there, we can almost do it without light, but you wouldn't be able to see it uh, as, as the viewers. So we got about a 30 second uh, paint on right now, and this is going well into the etched and silenated porcelain surface and I etch on this type of ceramic it's Duceram um, Duceram some uh, porcelain or Ducera you can etch over a minute on that and still uh, be okay uh, pretty pretty good we etch about uh, just about a minute on that uh, these other felts or these other porcelains the newer ones uh, um, that are out for uh, uh, veneers say you're looking at probably around 20 seconds of, of uh, etching so so things are good and then we're going to do just a light drying of that I believe just a light drying and we'll just uh, all set for that Jen yes okay so here comes the light drying she's just taking care of a little bit more internally looking good here kiddo all right, make sure you don't get any of that in the inner prox and keep that all nice and stable. Okay, so we're going to go with... Uh, okay, so I'm going to come up about three quarters of the way with the wire, maybe just to cover the, uh, the internal aspect. Okay, so I'm really squeezing real hard. We're just using up the end of this one. There's that of that one, okay. All right, and we'll squeeze a little bit out first. Right toe, all the way in. There it goes. All right, I'll wipe that out. Right. Remember, this is composite. That looks good. Just enough to cover that area so we don't get any darkness down in there. A piece of lint right there. Let's get rid of that. All right. Squeeze some out. Okay, this is the Denton shade. So that goes. Uh, is that Denton shade right there? Yeah. It's got a. It's got a nice color to it. All right. Perfect. All right, and we're gonna go to a micro brush. That little piece of uh, I just bother you when you have a little piece of lint right there. That'll polish out. We'll get that out of there. That's nothing. As long as it's not inside. We got that. Microscopes see everything, and that little piece of lint right there probably came from my uniform. So uh, that's amazing. Uh, you can see that. June thought that was pretty uh, pretty hilarious. <laughs> I guess <laughs> we don't miss a trick here. <laughs> um, I want to do a special shout out while we're waiting for this uh, to Dr. Leo DeLeo, and he's in Italy right now. He did contact me through uh, through my website and Facebook, social media. I tell you what, it's a great way to meet people in Europe. We're going to Skype this Sunday, 28th, and we're going to talk about dentistry. We're going to talk about microscopes they've got a Zeiss microscope that they seem to have a cover on right now they're not using it he explained that it seems to be the size of an airplane cockpit and it's kind of big and bulky six other dentists in the office hopefully they all want to take part in the uh, Skype uh, 
correspondence. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a fun time. All we have to do now, ladies and gentlemen, is adju adjust June's bite and wish her well. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. We all hope you enjoyed it. Uh, you enjoy the rest of your day out there. We're waiting for Irene to pass, and uh, soon she'll miss us, but we uh, wish uh, Godspeed to those up in the New England area and Carolinas uh, for safety, and uh, we, we, uh, we wish them well throughout this, uh, this time of urgency. So uh, take care. We'll see you next time on the next case. Dr. Jerry Cuomo in Boca Raton.